Are you getting ready to relocate to Northwest Florida, but you're trying to figure out which area might not work for you and your family and which one that might work out perfectly? Well, in this video, I am going to talk about 10 places in Northwest Florida that you should never move to. So stay tuned. I'm Stephanie Bueno with the Whittemore Group at EXP Realty. We are here right here in the Destin for Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel, thank you so much for stopping on by and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap on that bell just so you're notified every time we do a new video so you don't miss out on all the information that we give you about this area. We do have a lot of people that reach out to us because they're either getting ready to relocate here or they're looking to purchase property here or they're just looking for general information so they can decide which area is right for them. So if you fall into any of those categories, if you're looking to uh, buy property here, relocate here, or just invest in a, a rental property, just reach out to us. We'd love to help as many people as we possibly can. So just give us a phone call, send us a text, or shoot us an email and we'll be happy to help with whatever you need. All right, so 10 places in Northwest Florida you should never move to. In no particular order, number one, there's Destin. Yes, Destin. Now, if you are looking for an area to live in where it's just nice and quiet, peaceful, no traffic, more of that country, that country feel, little country vibe, uh, then Destin would not be for you. Of course, Destin is a well-known area. It used to be somewhat of a little hidden gem until word got out and everybody uh, is familiar with how fantastic the Destin area is. So a lot more people each year are coming to visit. Uh, so there's a lot of tourists that come during the peak season, which is from the spring break time uh, around March through September after Labor Day and sometimes even going into October. Um, there's lots of um, people that are going to the same places that you try to enjoy as a local. Uh, of course, the beaches, restaurants, shopping, you name it, uh, whatever Destin has to offer, everybody wants to come and enjoy it just like the, the locals do. Um, so if that is not your scene, if you don't like to be around a ton of people, you don't like to get caught up in traffic with people that are not familiar with this area, uh, then Destin will not be for you. You might want to look at uh, a more calm, quiet, peaceful. Number two, Niceville. Now you don't want to live in Niceville if you're scared of airplanes or if you are just sensitive to, to just loud noises, period. Uh, because Niceville is located right next to Eglin Air Force Base and the airport, the Destin for Walton Beach Airport. Uh, so you are pretty much on a daily basis going to hear the airplanes if you're living in Niceville or the Valparaiso area. Um, they're going to, depending on where you live, they might fly right over your house or you can see it off from a, a distance, but it's still just going to be as loud as ever. Uh, so if you're sensitive to that type of noise or just, you know, maybe you're a light sleeper taking a nap during the day or if you have children um, that can't sleep through those type of noises, then Niceville definitely wouldn't be the place for you. Um, it is a nice place to live, however, it's very family friendly. Um, but again, it just gets pretty noisy because it is located next to the airport and the Air Force Base. Number three, you never want to move to 30A uh, because that is a very um, more of a higher class area, meaning the prices are much higher. So if you're looking to purchase a home and maybe your budget is um, maybe 400 to 450,000, uh, then you don't want to move to, to uh, the 30A area because the prices are going to be much higher than that. Um, actually, I looked it up in our MLS and within the last six months, the lowest price single family home sold for 461,000. Uh, again, that's the lowest price. Um, and the lowest condo, if you're more so interested in, in the, the numbers uh, or the sale for, for condos, the last three months, it was uh, $305,000. And that was for a studio condo. Uh, so no, no full bedroom. It's just like a little, little condo um, with no bedroom, but it does have you know your bedroom area, seating area, a full bathroom. And again, that's for 305,000 that it sold for in the last three months. So if you, again, if you're looking for a single family home, you might need to make sure that, uh, again, you are pre-approved by a lender. We always mention that in a lot of our videos when it comes to purchasing, make sure that you are pre-approved by a lender so you know what your budget is and make sure that you are able to afford purchasing property in the 30A area. Number four, Panama City Beach. You don't wanna live here as if you like to go to the beach and just try and enjoy a nice peaceful day out and hear the waves. Uh, maybe hear some birds. 
Uh, you won't be able to hear those uh, quiet, peaceful sounds so well during the tourist season in Panama City Beach because the beaches are so crowded. Of course, everyone knows how great Panama City Beach is when it comes to entertaining. Uh, I do hear that it does have a bit of that reputation of being a bit of a party town. Um, but again, there's, it's still a lot of people that come of all ages. There's they're elderly, there's teenagers, college kids, and you know families with uh, toddlers that like to visit the area. Just you name the group, they are all coming into the Panama City Beach area and it can overcrowd the beaches. So um, if you are a local of Panama City Beach and you don't like to feel like you're just crammed in and don't have your own personal space out there on the beach, uh, then you definitely don't want to live in Panama City if you like to go to the beach regularly. Uh, I've, there's several months of the year between March and September again that you will not be able to have your peaceful time out there if you and your family you're just gonna have to share your space um, so if that's what you prefer then you don't want to live in Panama City Beach. Number five Crestview is a place that you definitely don't want to move to if you feel like you need to be you must be 10 to 15 minutes from the beach um, or just anywhere that's walking distance or hop into your golf cart and ride out to the beach uh, you will have a much longer commute time if you are living in Crestview um, on average, it may take you 30 to 45 minutes to get to the beach, depending on if you're going to the Destin beaches or Okaloosa Island for Walton Beach um, or Santa Rosa Beach. But during tourist season, um, that's going to add on more drive time. So it would take you 45 minutes to an hour or more to get to the beach from Crestview. Um, so if living uh, within 10 to 15 minutes is a must have for you, then do not move to Crestview because it's going to take you a lot longer than that to get to the beach. Number six, Fort Walton Beach. Now you don't wanna to move to Fort Walton Beach if you like to have a lot of space, a lot of land, um, bigger lots. The uh, problem with Fort Walton Beach that a lot of people have is that even if you have a newer home, it's still kind of crammed with your neighbors on the street. Um, you might be, you know, you have a newer home, but you still have a lot of the older homes, maybe even mobile homes, um, right within your, the, the, you know, the view of your own home. Uh, a lot of people don't favor that. Um, they like to have their space, like to have a bigger lot, maybe um, half acre or more. You're not really going to find much of that in the Fort Walton Beach area. Um, there seems to be a lot of uh, older places, older buildings that are being torn down and they're just building a whole new, um, like maybe even a set of townhomes uh, squeezed in between other buildings or again, nice three to four bedroom single family homes. But again, you're just so crammed in and you're just uh, within arm's reach of your next door neighbors. So, if you are looking for more land, uh, bigger homes, then you may want to avoid the Fort Walton Beach area because you're going to feel like you're a, a little bit too close to where you might be able to even hear your neighbors talking, even though you're in a single family home. Number seven, Navarre. Now, if you feel like you don't want to be in a family friendly, um, residential type of area and you want a little bit more action, um, more uh, activities as far as going downtown, um, lots of shopping, lots of dining, then you may want to avoid Navarre. Navarre, it's definitely growing. Um, I remember moving back here in the early 90s and um, didn't see all that going on with Navarre, but it's a lot different these days. There's lots of new homes, um, townhomes, apartment buildings, grocery stores, um, lots of restaurants that are being built as we speak. Um, so it's definitely growing. However, if you feel like you want more of a more of a city life, then Navarre is definitely not for you. It's a little more um, a residential area, lots of homes being built for families, especially military families, uh, with us being here near the military bases. Um, it's great to see a lot of these, these housings, house, uh, houses and uh, townhomes and apartments being built to accommodate all the military families that are coming and going. Um, however, if that's not the type for you, um, then you may want to avoid the Navarre area. Number eight, you want to avoid Gulf Breeze if you don't like a school crowd. And what I mean by that is that Gulf Breeze, a little bit of a smaller area, um, but there is a section of Gulf Breeze where you have the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school all right next to each other or across from each other. So with all that being a bit of a jumble right there and it's the section of um, Gulf Breeze, just before you head into Pensacola, um, of course, traffic can be a bit crazy, uh, especially during the the school school days and business hours everyone's trying to get to work and school at the same time and everyone is getting off work or getting out of school close to the same time maybe not the exact time but it's still the traffic is going to build up um, especially when people are trying to get to pensacola or people from pensacola are trying to get to gulf breeze or navarre it gets very very congested in the gulf breeze area 
Um, so if you don't like uh, being crowded to where it kind of feels like there's one way in, one way out, you definitely want to avoid Gulf Breeze, Florida. Number nine, there's the Milton and Pace areas. Um, now, I would say you would want to avoid this area and not move to this area if you like the nightlife and entertainment. Uh, you don't really see much of that out in the Milton area. Um, however, it is a short drive to Pensacola, Florida. They do have a bit of a nightlife out there um, in downtown Pensacola. Uh, where you have bars to go to, some live entertainment. Not to say that uh, Milton and Pace might not have little uh, areas or, or restaurants that have that, but if you like uh, more uh, more activities, more action going on, then you may not be happy in the Milton and Pace area. It's a little more quiet and calm. Um, but again, if you like the nightlife, you may wanna go ahead and avoid Milton and Pace. And number 10, there's Pensacola. You don't wanna move to Pensacola, especially if you work in the Gulf Breeze or Navarre area. Uh, traffic can be insane. Um, there was a, a, a period of time where the bridge uh, was closed down to get uh, to Pensacola or from Pensacola to Gulf Breeze. Uh, so that caused a bit of a chaos to where everyone had to take uh, the toll bridge or Highway 87 uh, up and around just to get to Pensacola. Um, so if that were to ever happen again or something happened with the bridge, which it is that they are doing construction on that bridge right now, um, but if anything happens to where that bridge shut down, it's just insane. Um, and it just causes a great big inconvenience for people that uh, really need that bridge to cut down on an hour drive time. Uh, so if you want to avoid the hassle of possibly not being able to take that bridge, uh, then you may want to avoid uh, living in Pensacola if you do work in the Gulf Breeze uh, or Navarre area. So that's all I have for you today. Um, there's a lot more that I could probably say about each area, but I just want to kind of give you at least one good point for each of those areas that you may want to avoid um, should you choose to move to Northwest Florida. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you like and share this video with anyone you know that may be looking to move into the area. Uh, leave us a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your thoughts. Again, I'm Stephanie Bueno with the Whittemore Group at EXP Realty. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.